pH, KH, and GH, what are these and why are they important? And what should I do with them, and why do I need to care? This video will explain these water values to you in a comprehensive way, so you can understand their importance and how to master them. Abnormalities in these values can cause serious problems in your tank or pond, luckily for us they are not that difficult to control. When abnormalities are detected, we need to come in action to mitigate. Let's look at them now to understand what these water parameters represent. In chemistry, pH stands for potential of hydrogen. It is a measure of the concentration of hydrogen ions, H+, present in your water. The pH scale is a logarithmic scale. This implies that one pH unit is 10 times stronger or 10 times weaker than the one below or above it. So a pH of 7 is 10 times more acidic than a pH of 8, but 10 times weaker than a pH of 6. You can imagine the impact this will have when pH suffers from strong fluctuation. Water inhabitants are extremely sensitive for these pH changes, as it directly influences the way their body works causing immediate stress. This makes them more susceptible to diseases, or even lead to death. Therefore, it is important trying to keep the pH value as stable as possible, or, in case you want to tweak it, make very small and careful steps. Certain fish or species are more picky about pH levels, so it is wise to adapt your population to it. This could lead to multiple tanks or ponds, but that is the way it is. Fish just thrive better when you can give them the ecosystem they are used to. Most species do well around the sweet spot of a pH value of 6 to 8. Species like South American fish like more acid water, while shrimps and carps are more adapted to neutral water levels. African cichlids and live bearers love more alkaline water. The carbonate hardness KH, buffers our water against pH swings. This is crucial for vitality of the inhabitants as extreme pH swings are lethal. Normally we thrive for a level of 4 to 8 dKH that equals around 70 to 140 ppm. KH doesn't really do anything for fish, so keeping it at the desired levels is all you need to take care of. Water general hardness, or GH, is the concentration of calcium and magnesium ions in a freshwater aquarium or pond. GH is usually determined by your water source, but can be easily adjusted with commercial products. Ideally, freshwater aquariums and ponds have a GH between 4 to 12 dGH, or 70 to 140 ppm. All animals need some minerals, but certain fish like live bearers, goldfish, and African cichlids prefer higher GH levels. If you're trying to breed discus or other soft water fish, you may need to reduce the GH to 3 dGH, or 50 ppm, or below. If your tank or pond is heavily equipped with plants, it is advisable to run higher levels of GH when your inhabitants can deal with that. Plants just flourish better at higher GH levels. But Professor Pond, do we need to test these water values a lot? I mean, if fish and plants flourish everything must be perfectly fine then? That is a good question. I advise to regularly measure at least your KH value. If that one drops to very low values, pH swings will start to occur and we want to prevent that. If your KH is fine, the pH will most likely be stable so you measure that when something seems to be wrong. Just measure it and you will know. Okay, but how do I do that? Just follow the instructions for your test kit thoroughly and you will be fine. These test kits are made to be easy on the hand. If needed, your shop of choice can also provide commercial products to correct your water levels. Just one tip, the best way is to refresh some water and stay close to the values of your water source. It can save you some money and you can better spend that on a beautiful fish. Now let's try to wrap it up. We have seen that pH, KH and GH are important water values. 
The KH is very important because it keeps the pH stable, so keep an eye on that one all the time. The GH value is important for fish and plants, as it keeps all kinds of internal and external processes running and keep plant healthy. Measuring the GH at regular intervals is not a bad habit at all, but it is of less importance. Please keep in mind that KH and GH are different and KH is not part of any GH measurement. Therefore, KH and GH can be higher or lower than one another and provide no real indication of each other. There are all kinds of chemical products to influence your water chemistry. If you just want to enjoy fish without permanently modified water parameters, the best tip we can give you is to go for a collection of fish that is suitable for the water coming from your water source. But if you want to go a step further and create an ecosystem specifically for your desired collection, we encourage you to do so as keeping fish healthy is the best reward we can get in this hobby. I hope you liked this video, please consider to like it and subscribe to the channel as this is the only way to keep it going. Thank you for your attention.